Well, COVID hit us like it hit everybody, hit us hard. We lost about four and a half months of production. As a result of that, we've rolled around one more full year for a release in December of 22. That's been, that's been announced already. Now that doesn't mean that I have an extra year to finish the film because the day we deliver Avatar 2, we'll just start working on finishing Avatar 3. Hello everyone and welcome back to IT News. In today's video, we'll be talking about the long-awaited sequel to the great Avatar movie. But first, make sure to leave a like on the video right now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to see more content like this and much more. Hit that bell notifications too so you never miss out on a future video. Right, let's just get right into it. Over the last 10 years, we've seen countless major movie franchises come and go, but the few have had the global appeal of James Cameron's Avatar. Released in December 2000, and nine, the film continues to hold the record as the highest grossing movie of all time, pulling in $2.782 billion worldwide. Avatar became not just a success to Hollywood film, but the future of Hollywood itself. Its grand scale and ambition meant that every other sci-fi movie was judged against it and often found wanting. First of all, Avatar 2 is well and truly real. In fact, it is much further along in production than you expect. Avatar 2 and its several other sequels have been in development for years. And while it might look like movies like these might never actually happen, the second, third Avatar sequels are actually in production now. Yes, even Avatar 3 is in the works already. No time is being wasted on the sequel at all. The film director James Cameron seems pretty confident that Avatar 2 will be out on December 2022, so hopefully there won't be any further delays, especially if we're looking forward to see the other planned sequels all the way throughout to Avatar 5. Yes, seriously, Avatar is here to stay for a while it seems. It's crazy to believe that Avatar 2 was scheduled to be released in December 2014 and Avatar 3 was scheduled for December 2015. Those dates got pushed back as you can tell obviously in April 2016 was meant to start on Avatar 2 but April came and went and the filming never got underway. Then in January the following year, it was announced that the work on the motion capture element of the film would start by August 2017, but instead it began in September. And although with all these delays, the fourth Avatar movie was also announced. We're struggling to just get past the second and how we ended up planning for a fourth already. This meant that all the sequels now got pushed back to 2017 and 2016 and 2018 respectively. So it's 2020 now and we still don't have one sequel, not even one. So once again, you can tell all the sequels were pushed back with, with Avatar 2 planned for December 2017 and the rest following on a year after each other. Perhaps James Cameron blamed the very involved writing process for these delays. But come 2020 once again and yet another delay for the movies that's set to be released in late 2021. Avatar 2 is definitely going to be released in December 2022. The delay was a result of the production being delayed due to the global shutdown. Not just the live action filming in New Zealand, but also the virtual production work taking place in Los Angeles. Well, COVID hit us like it hit everybody, hit us hard. We lost about four and a half months of production. As a result of that, we've rolled around one more full year for a release in December of 22. That's been, that's been announced already. Now that doesn't mean that I have an extra year to finish the film because the day we deliver Avatar 2, we'll just start working on finishing Avatar 3. The work being delayed now is very understandable given the circumstances of the world right now, but it's pretty insane to think that soon as Avatar 2 is done, they're gonna be working on finishing the third one. And James and the whole crew is moving like absolute machines there. Now I'm down in New Zealand shooting. We're shooting the, the remainder of the live action. We've got about 10% left to go. We're 100% complete on Avatar 2, and we're sort of 95% complete on on uh, Avatar 3. Um, so we're just uh, we're we're very lucky in that we chose this as our production site years ago. We made the first film here in New Zealand. Another really interesting thing that James mentioned is that Avatar 2 has just 10% when it, when it comes to live action filming and Avatar 3 is already on 95%. It's fair to say that they've been doing a lot of work for the longest time because this is incredible. They've been working multiple movies at once. Reportedly, a film decision on whether we will see a fourth or a fifth comes down to the release of number three. So what do we know about Avatar 2? There's not really that much in terms of the story, but in terms of the casting, there are 
great deal to talk about here. Kate Winslet is teaming with James Cameron for a Titanic reunion, playing the role of Rano in the Avatar universe. This marks the first calibration since 1997 blockbuster, with Cameron admitting that they were looking for something to do together for 20 years. It was also announced that Eddie Falco is joining the Avatar family as General Admiral, the commander in charge of the RDA's interest in the Avatar sequels. Even Vin Diesel is joining the Avatar crew, he just adds to an already incredible star-studded cast. Avatar 2 is basically almost done and quite remarkable, even Avatar 3 is already planned and 4 and 5 is fully in motion. Hopefully there shouldn't be any more delays. And that brings us to the end of today's video guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy then make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and much more. Take care for now everyone. Stay safe. You know, stay indoors as much as you can. And uh, from me, this is Cheerio.